Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Daraja Skaka Sungura YouTube channel. Na kabla niendelee kwanza nataka ni sema shukrani sana kwa wale mlinipiga support ya kujengea mzee mmoja nyumba ambaye bibi yake alitoroka miaka mitano iliyopita akamwachia watoto wadogo wachanga. Yule mzee ameteseka na watoto wake na wamekuwa kiishi ndani ya nyumba ya nyasi wananyeshewa na leo hii tulikuwa pale tumeanza foundation na natumai kwamba kufikia Jumatatu ama Jumanne nyumba hiyo tutakuwa tumeimaliza ili Mungu apewe sifa. Biblia inasema kwamba injili ya ukweli ni injili ya kuwatembelea masikini mayatima wagonjwa na wajane wakati wao wa shida. Hiyo ndio injili ya kweli. Kwa hivyo kama uliweka pesa zako kidogo kwa hii project, Mungu akubariki sana. Na ninaomba kama umeguzwa na hii story, tunahitaji milango, dirisha, vitanda, mattress na blankets. Na pia viti. So kama Mungu atakuguza, uh, you can send your donation and God will bless you. One door is 4500, one bed is 4500, one mattress is 4000. We need two beds, we need two mattresses. We need four doors, we need four windows. So kama Mungu amekuguza, let us touch a family, let us change a life. Serikali imekataa sisi wacha tubadilishe maisha ya mahasala. Hao mahasala ndio walipigia serikali kura lakini nimewapa mgongo. Kaka sisi wacha tubadilishe maisha ya ground. Sisi ni kusema na kutenda. Turudi katika siasa. Leo hii ninaona habari katika televisheni moja ni seme to be specific Citizen TV. And uh, this story really caught my attention. Yaani Kenya tunayoishi ni Kenya ya kuzika vijana kwa kaburi la sahau. Whether you like it or not, the current regime is not interested at all how the young people are going to survive. The same young people you see who are jobless hata nyumba hawajajenga lakini mabati moja kawaida ya dumu saz na mabati mengine imepita maki ya 1000 shillings na hapo bado finance bill haijapitishwa So one company G4S advertised only 100 jobs You can imagine a hundred jobs in Nairobi. But the applicants who turned up today. Hey. Na mnasema tuko Kenya. Na mnaimba hatupangwingi. Na mnasema nyinyi ni serikali ya mahasala. Hmm. 10,000 people coming up to battle a hundred vacancies and this is Kenya yani kampuni inatangaza nafasi moja. watu wanaokuja 95% ni vijana na out of 100 vacancies 10,000 applicants are turning up for the job. Hey, what an amazing country. Alafu kuna kibogoyo mahali anaimba sipangwingwi. Alafu kuna ghasia mahali inasema pesa mfukoni. Niulize kidogo. Ni kulewa ama ni kurewa? The kind of joblessness. Okay, mnishike vizuri. Yaani ku 
leo wanakuroa ninamaanisha ni wa kuimba haupangwi na umepangwa msidishika vibaya kaka but before I proceed i want to play for you this news done by gatete njoroga of citizen tv listen to it halafu ninarudi Ijumaa asubuhi na hali ilikuwa kama hii katika afisi za mafunzo ya kampuni ya G4S eneo la Embakasi jijini Nairobi maelfu ya wakenya kutoka kila pembe wakifika kutafuta ajira hii ni baada ya kuona taarifa kuhusu nafasi za kazi katika kampuni hiyo wengi hapa walikuwa wamebeba mabegi na bahasha ishara tosha ya safari walizofunga kutoka mbali Lucas Ombudo kutoka Rusinga anaketi barabarani kutafakari baada ya kuchujwa akiwa miongoni mwa wale waliofika hapa saa mbili asubuhi baada ya kusafiri usiku kucha Ombudo aliondolewa kwa kutofikisha umri wa miaka ishirini na tano taarifa iliyomvunja moyo ila kwa sasa hana budi ila kurejea nyumbani na kutafuta kazi mbadala Parents walikuwa wanajua nitapata kazi huku sijapata then pia okay Kenya ilikuwa tunategemeanga sana hii nini hii mambo ya kazi mtaani venye ilikuja ilikuwa inatusaidia sasa hiyo sasa ukitembea lakeside saa hii kazi mtaani kazi mtaani hakuna fishing pia uh, fish hakuna ombudo ni miongoni mwa mamia ya vijana waliovunjika moyo hasa kwenye swala la umri na kukosa vieti vya shuleni kitu imenitoa huku ndani ni miaka ni 25 but next demand 30 ndio nafikisha 25 so naona nimechoma transport kutoka western hadi huko nilimaliza shule 2011 uh, kutoka huo muda wote sijapata tu ile kazi kamili time nimefika hapa i was so stressed but by the time nimeona wenzangu nikapata moyo number 1 nikajua tuko wengi na nikajiuliza kama mwenyewe niko kwa nyumba naona sina kazi na watu wengine how are we surviving in this Nairobi vijana hawa wana hofu kuwa hali hii huenda ikaendelea kuwa mbaya kutokana na hatua ya serikali kuongeza ushuru kwa bidhaa muhimu kama mafuta unapata unaamua kwenda Saudi ile yenye unatafuta kazi unazurura unazurura unachoka unaenda Saudi wanatukataza tusiende tusiende na Kenya watupei kazi si ile utatafuta ukishachoka Unatafuta kwenda Saudi tukufia huko unaamua heri ukufia huko takwimu za KNBS zinaonyesha kuwa wakenya milioni mbili nukta tisa hawana ajira umati uliofika katika afisi za G4S eneo la Embakasi ni ishara tosha ya changamoto ya ukosefu wa ajira huko nchini hali ambayo wengi wanahofia kuwa huenda ikaendelea kufuatia hatua ya serikali kuongeza ushuru katika sekta mbalimbali Gatete njoroge runinga ya citizen county ya Nairobi Now ladies and gentlemen This is a real story not propaganda not news Kutoka kwa hiyo story ya Gatete njoroge umeona the number of young people turning up to battle hundred vacancies Na hawa vijana ndio tunaambia chagua serikali itakayo wasaidia Mnakata Yaani mtu ametoka all the way from western to Nairobi kuja kupigania nafasi ni moja Kaka I think Kenya needs another type of leadership. Leadership that creates lasting jobs for the young people. Lakini unatuambia at you are creating mjango jobs for young people. Mjango utafanya miaka ngapi? At the housing will create jobs. Mjengo. Hizo nyumba mkijenga zikiisha, vijana waenda wapi? at you are creating jobs who the jobs mjengo na wakimaliza kujenga hizo nyumba waende wapi we need a government that reasons beyond the mjengo we need a government that reasons how 
to rescue the young generation from alcohol. Ni maona gacha wanapigana na illicit brew kwao. Hao vijana wakiacha ulevi, what solution are you giving them? That is the question. That is the riddle. Unawaambia waache pombe. Waende wapi? That is the riddle. Kumaliza pombe sio shida. It's not a problem. The problem is baada ya kumwaga hiyo pombe baada ya kuwafukuza from the drinking dens where are you taking them unawapeleka wapi na vijana wanakunywa pombe si wanakunywa pombe kwa kupenda it's depression lack of jobs university graduates wanakunywa pombe ili kutuliza akili kulingana na maono yao so you are bragging kwamba unaenda kupigana na pombe Dio Unaambia vijana waacheni kukunywa pombe. What is the alternative? They are not talking about that. Na sitakusikia ukiongea hiyo. Gashawa should come out and tell us after the young people have stopped drinking, what is the alternative to keep them busy? Have you provided jobs? Yaani unataka vijana waache kunywa pombe? Waende wakae nyumbani saa mbili mpaka saa mbili ya usiku ndoto ya mchana nani A government that doesn't reason beyond today Kuacha pombe ni leo lakini huyu kijana unaajisha pombe kesho anaishi namna gani Umeona hapa 10,000 young people turning up for just 100 vacancies sad realities sad realities this is the debate we are supposed to have nationally so finance bill so kitu ingine. this is the kind of debate we need to have as a country how are we going to create lasting reliable jobs for these young people you have seen here crying mtu ametoka siaya amekuja Nairobi na anarudi bila kazi. What is the the frustration in this is beyond repair. 